Welcome back everybody to another episode of Terraform Punk. Now in the last episode we found this copper and uh, now we're going to put it to some good use to uh, make some new tools and then we're going to go and see what we can do with them. Now to start off with we're going to uh, put our metal in ceramic vessel. Now what you can do with this copper is you can either just melt it down into copper make it into bronze using tin into brass with uh, zinc um, rose gold with copper or bismuth bronze with bismuth and zinc what we're going to do which is make black bronze just with silver and gold um, the only alloys that can be used for making tools are uh, well, copper, which isn't an alloy, but uh, the bronze, bismuth bronze, and black bronze. Now, bronzes are tier two metals, with copper being a tier one. Um, black bronze is, in fact, the best, um, best bronze, um, as you can see. So, a copper halberd has. 248 attack damage bismuth bronze is 315 a regular bronze is 330 a black bronze is 345 that's also the order of how much durability they have um, showing that black bronze is by far um, the most superior um, so to make black bronze we're going to have to put um, between these percentages of copper, so either up at least 50%, but lower than 70% for copper, and between 10 and 25% for silver and gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 20% um, of each silver and gold and 60% copper. Now, as you can see, that this would be then enough to make two ingots of black bronze. So we're going to put that in here. We're going to make some bo more bowls and some ingot molds um, as well. Um, those are simply just made using the clay to make these. As we will need a lot more of these when we do more metal processing in a little bit. We're also going to make a pickaxe mold. And we're also going to make a halberd mold. And we also need to make a saw mold. Now we're going to fill all of these up with some straw and the logs, and then set 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 these pit kilns alight. Now, when you have pit kilns diagonally, you can use a single fire starter. And it will, in fact, set all of the fires on at once, or all the pit kilns, as it were. Now, once we've, as we've set those going now, we're going to take a look at the quest book, which we haven't looked at in a long time. Um, so the actual backstory to this mod pack is it's been over a century since the end of the Great War. No one really knows how it started. Some will blame our technology, that we advanced too fast. They re reached too high and dug too deep. What I do know is that during the Great War, the very earth was wounded. The evidence is everywhere for your eyes to see. Black pools of some foul liquid pour forth, poisoning the land and sea. And worse, horrid evil creatures lay in wait in the dark places of the world, while the dead walk the land at night. For anyone who finds this book, it should serve as a basic guide to help you survive what's left of the a harsh world but yeah so we're just gonna <laughs> get into this so we've got we've completed a lot of these quests so kill 20 zombies um, we've been knocking uh, zombies off of the ledge here whenever it's been nighttime so 
So that's a good source of experience, which is how I have 24 levels. Um, ooh, we've got a, a single time um, monster hunter. Um, I'm going to take the reward bag, sort of a lucky dip. Also, We also get another heart, which means we have another life now. Um, and take some onion. So that's for uh, basic weapons, um, basic tools, an oak sapling. Take a soybean. Um, I might want one of these later for something specific, so I'll just leave those for now. Um, um, I'm going to take the maple. Maple sapling because I we don't have any of those. Um, got pine everywhere, but yeah. So take the maple. I think I'll take the piece of coal. Yeah, five clay, some berries, another reward bag, and our pot for the pot for making the large vessel. We get some reeds and a reward bag. Oh, so you can consume this to get an extra extra heart. So now I'm back up to three, um, and we've got two good reward bags and four basic. So let's open these up and see what we get. Some more food, some galena, which is a uh, lead, not very useful. Um, normal TFC, but has some uses in this mod pack. Some oak wood um, and some more food so I collected some uh, pine wood logs we just used uh, 32 of those to make these four pit kilns um, see what we get from these two good bags ooh bookshelves and fire charge and snowball that's it I wonder what we can do with those copper shovel and granite and some bismuth as that just a block granite? Right, so we we're actually going to use use this today. Um, so one of the things that we need to do, or what we're going to do, is we we need to make a stone anvil. That's the first tier zero anvil that you uh, can get. Um, so I'm just going to place this down here. Um, it has to be used. Um, certain types of stone granite is one of them um, so you just right click with a hammer on the top and right click uh, again to, with the hammer to open it then you can place the hammer inside to keep it as a stone anvil now you can use this to weld ingots together which is, we need that to uh, make the next tier anvil which will be, will be a copper anvil first of all we're going to make our tools um, and then we're going to go back over to where we found some copper and uh, mine it all up um, because we'll need a lot of it. Right, so our pit kilns has just finished firing. So we're gonna grab our, what should be, hopefully, black bronze. Yes, black bronze, 200 units. So we're gonna use this, this to make a pick and a halberd. Um, Obviously picked so that we can go collect more copper um, and the halberd so we can defend ourselves as it has a very good attack damage of 345 compared to our puny knives which is just 40. So that's all the bronze so that vessel is now empty again. Um, got some more bowls which we can use for making um, salads as occasionally the bowls will break also got some ceramic molds which will be very useful for when we're doing some of the metal working later on um, so now we can just stick those in the chest um, stick that vessel down there for the moment um, so we can pop these molds out we just need some sticks and we now have a pickaxe and ooh, 
Ah, so we need a 3x3 three three crafting grid for making a bronze halberd. Now, we actually, when we were over on the boat um, last episode, I actually collected some of the willow planks. Now that means that we can actually create a crafting table. But that actually, what that actually does is it just expands our in-game crafting table. So now we have a halberd. We can properly defend ourselves. We're also going to do some cooking with blue. We're going to create some more salads with the vegetables that we've got in here. Stick these plank planks back away. We're going to plant these reeds. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to head to the house that we found over there. We're going to harvest up a bunch of the planks from in there to build our house up a bit more securely. Right, so I'm back here at where the boats was were, <laughs> to what's left of this one apparently. Um, and we're just going to uh, come over here to grab the chest that is in here. Um, which will help with our storage. Also going to see what was in, try and see what's in the other chest, or the other boat that is. Now, should be directly below here as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Right, so some yellow bell peppers, some em chipped emerald, bag, a bow, some onion seeds. Now. Just gonna block this off with this willow log so we can grab the chest and then we can just climb back out. And now we're gonna head off. Alright, so we've made it back to the, where the house was. Um, um, didn't bring any torches with, with us, which wasn't a very good idea. Wanted to grab these. support beams because we can use them when we're mining up the copper um, so I wanted to grab these steam tanks um, don't really need those slabs um, we're also going to grab these planks and grab some experience as we do so need to be careful if any of the really nasty zombies spawn but now that we have this thing we can uh, pretty much take care of ourselves ah home sweet home so back from the trip um, that we just went on we also got another quarter of a heart and from the other uh, hearts that we got we got another full heart we can seem to get an extra life so we get back up to four lives. We started on five, so we're uh, making our way back up there. Right, so we've sorted out our inventory and put all of our stuff away with our uh, wooden stuff. So we've got some supports, a bunch of oak planks, um, some other stuff, and uh, then we've got all of a bunch of random things in here. Um, we're accumulating some useful things from mob drops, like some copper nuggets, brass sheets. Um, and we've also got uh, these two reward bags from Mob Drops. We've got a basic and a greater one. We'll start off with the basic because it's just going to be food. Um, let's see what this greater one can get us. Ooh, it's iron, uh, glass, iron fragments, raw iron hammerhead, and spyglass. Ooh. Um, we actually need to make some glass for a quest book um, or we need to make some glass bottles fortunately uh, we need three glass to make glass bottles and we only have two from that which is but we'll have to just make some um we completed this uh quest um the next one is for making an antique atlas um which we need 
uh, marking for. Um, so what I'm going to select from this reward is the marking. Um, and as we also get another full heart from this, I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that. Um, so that required a hide um, and a feather. One empty antique atlas. So that's that quest uh, completed. Uh, we're going to go for left. Um, apparently we completed the kill 20 zombies again. Um, so this gives us two more basic bags, a good bag and a heart to consume. So we're now up to five hearts, which is great because that's how many we started off with. And we can open these basic ones, which is dirt, wood. Um, willow sapling is nice because we need to uh, grow some of those because um, they produce a lot of uh, leaves for a good tree farm. Um, and for the good bag, some bronze sheets. Taking a further look at the quest book, um, we can go go out of the survival list, go to the blacksmith, and we see that we need to make a gold pan. Um, now, simply create a gold pan by placing a ceramic bowl in the crafting grid. Okay, one simple gold pan. Um, get a jade for that. Um, now, as we made some ceramic molds, um, we're going to get an olive tree. Um, from that. It wants us to make some copper ingots. Now first of all we need to go grab that copper so that's what we're going to go and do next. Right so we're finally back where we found that copper so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, dig down and um, I made 63 ladders um, using a lot of our sticks up um, and we're just going to dig down and see if we can find this copper. Um, hopefully it's directly beneath us. Um, and we won't have to go looking for it too much. See when I find it. So we finally actually found the Malachite in its regular quality. Um, I've uh, dug, I think it's like six holes trying to find this I mean you can with smart moving you can actually place these ladders three blocks apart um, it's a bit awkward um, but it can be done um, so yeah so that's hole number um, well let's ca let's count them here so I've got um, how many one. Two, three. No idea where that came from. Um, four, five. So this is hole number six. That's ridiculous. And I was digging down like 30 blocks and all I needed to do is like seven. Right, so I'm gonna mine up a bunch of this copper and then I'll be back. Right, so we've gotten back from our trip, guys. Um, we are gonna use some of that copper to make a copper anvil. Um, so let's get straight to it. So. In this ceramic vessel, I've got um, equivalent of 14 ingots of copper. So I'm going to place that in here. We've got some more copper, uh, some more uh, ingot molds, more molds, and bowls for making salads. All right, so we're going to light all of these up, and then when they have completed we will be able to use the copper ingots to create a, an anvil.
be able to weld ingots, you have to use flux. And we can use the limestone that we have um, to create flux. Um, so just create created a stack of it. Um, when you do this in the stone anvil, um, now the stone anvil can only weld copper ingots. That's all it can do. Um, each tier of metal you go up can weld together the next tier of ingots. I um, stone can weld copper, copper and a copper anvil can weld bronze ingots, um, and so on, um, up the metal tier chain. Um, and each anvil is able to work its own level of metal. So a copper anvil can make copper tools, a bronze anvil can make bronze tools, an iron anvil can make iron tools, and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a copper anvil so that we can then create a bronze anvil for making better bronze tools and that also allows us to go on to the next tiers of metal. Right so we've uh, this is just finished. Um, Alright so we're gonna 14,000 copper so just as we wanted it. So it's a race against the clock now to uh, get get these uh, all out of here and then once they're solids um, turn them into uh, um, double ingots which we can then use to create a anvil right so that's uh, all of the ing ingots out we just need to um, as as they become solid t um, they'll um, shay they will say weldable, and then we can just weld them together. Um, okay, that's the first one. First double ingot. Uh, we had one of the um, uh, ingot molds break. Right, there we have it. Seven copper du double ingots that we can now use this fresh fresh water we just it just cools them off now we can create a copper anvil which uh, can only be carried when on the back um, we are going to place that down there now we can take our hammer and our flux out of that and that just becomes a granite block again. Stick our hammer and flux in here and now we have a copper anvil. So uh, that's all over. Um, we still need to make a copper ingot for the quest. Um, we can do that next, next time. Thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.